Welcome to another episode of Blonde in the Kitchen. Today, my mom will be making coffee cake. After spending the last few weeks feeling under the weather, we have awoken to a snowy winter wonderland that has inspired us to make a hot cup of coffee and get back to baking. To make the streusel, start by adding one and a half cups all-purpose flour, one cup light brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons cinnamon, and a pinch of salt to a bowl and mix until combined. For a crumbly topping, use nine tablespoons chilled unsalted butter and cut small cubes using a fork or utensil of your choosing to mix and mash your streusel. To keep the butter cool, cover and place in your refrigerator while you're making the cinnamon sugar. Combine three quarters of a cup light brown sugar, a quarter of a cup granulated sugar, and two teaspoons cinnamon to make the cinnamon sugar. Sprinkling this mixture in the middle of your cake is what's going to give it that beautiful cinnamon sugar swirl. Onto the batter. First, let's mix our dry ingredients. We'll need three cups cake flour, half a teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking soda, and two teaspoons baking powder. Whisk your dry ingredients and set aside until they're ready to be added to the batter. For your wet ingredients, add one and a half sticks butter and one and a half cups granulated sugar. For coffee cake, it's best to cream your butter and sugar until light and fluffy. Doing so will add air to your batter, which results in a lighter cake filled with pretty air pockets. Once you've creamed your butter and sugar together, add in your eggs one at a time on medium speed. Once all of the eggs are incorporated, add in your vanilla, and the last three ingredients will be added in parts. We're going to add the sour cream, milk, and the dry ingredients in three parts. When the batter is smooth, go ahead and sprinkle with one heaping teaspoon of orange zest. Fold until incorporated, and the oils from the orange zest will add a citrusy flavor to the batter and are a perfect pairing with cinnamon. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We're using a 9 by 13 inch baking pan. Pour half of your batter in the pan and smooth it out evenly before topping with cinnamon sugar. Once you've added all of your cinnamon sugar, go ahead and add the rest of your batter to the top of the cake. Smooth it out and top with your cinnamon streusel. Bake until a toothpick inserted into the cake comes out clean. This took us an hour and 10 minutes. While the cake is baking is a good time to make the vanilla glaze. In a bowl, add two cups of sifted powdered sugar, three tablespoons of heavy cream, two tablespoons milk, and one and a half teaspoons vanilla extract. Mix your glaze until smooth and glossy. We like to keep it in a piping bag and put it in the fridge until the cake has cooled. When your cake has fully baked, pull it out of the pan and let it cool for at least 45 minutes. All we have left to do is drizzle generously with vanilla glaze. Funny story, growing up, whenever my mom would make this cake, my cousins and I thought that if we have a piece, it would keep us up at night so that we can stay up with the grown-ups. Little did we know that it actually has the name coffee cake because it's meant to be served with coffee. If you enjoy cake, cinnamon, and the smell of pure comfort and coziness in your home, I encourage you to try this and let us know what you think. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you've enjoyed, and leave us a comment down below of your thoughts. Yours truly, Blonde in the Kitchen.